Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today I'm just going to focus on cleaning my house, getting my life back in order. The very first thing I did after taking the kids away to go play with a friend and their kids is basically just make my bed and make sure my sheets are fresh. You guys already saw that. And then I took the dishes from the dishwasher and now I'm just focusing on getting a flower arrangement together. I love flower arrangements. My mom used to make flower arrangements in the house when I was little and I loved it. And she used to make flower arrangements for the church as well. So I learned a lot from her as a little girl. And now I have my own event decor business and I like to try little things here and there to just make sure that I got it right. But flowers in the home will always, always make me happy. My husband gets me flowers, I get myself flowers. Yeah, flowers all the way. So I like to call this a vacation reset or a reset from vacation. We just got back and I just felt like my home needed some loving, it needed some attention and I feel like the best way to do it is to focus on the little parts of the house that I often ignore the most because I'm always focused on getting the kids ready and getting my life ready but the living room slash family room, you know, the dining table, those areas felt like needed some extra attention today. So that's pretty much what I'm doing in this vlog. I wouldn't go as far as calling myself an organization junkie or a neat freak, but I will say this. I love clean spaces and clean, tidy spaces make me happy. I am able to function in my best capacity when I am in, around, or within a clean space. I hate mess, I hate clutter, but I do have two toddlers. so. <laughs> All of that comes with an understanding of how life will be at this point in time and I'm okay with that. However, comma, when I do find the opportunity to slowly do a deep clean, a deep dive into the areas that need some extra attention, I always take that opportunity. I find it somewhat meditative and I find it helpful because it helps me think, it helps me plan. It helps me organize my thoughts. It helps me pay attention to areas of the home that I otherwise would have overlooked just because I am so focused on the day to day, being a wife, being a mom, being an attorney, being a content creator, and being an event planner. So yeah, I'm wearing a lot of hats, but none is more important than the hat of the self. And that's why I always try to make a little routine when I'm done cleaning to light a candle and sit, take a minute, take it all in and journal. Or 
unfortunately, I don't get to journal as often as I would love to. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys and act like I journal every night. That's not true. I often don't get the opportunity to journal. However, when I do, I find it immensely cleansing. I am able to put things in perspective. It helps me plan. It helps me understand where I am right now in that space, in that season. And it helps me see myself how I feel like I actually should be seeing myself in that moment, except I am often consumed by the everyday. When I'm done journaling, I usually switch gears into organization mode, and I do that by using tools to help me simplify my life. My calendars, my planners, my routine trackers and my notepad and I got these items from Simplified so thank you Simplified for partnering with me in this video and supporting this community. Simplified provides exceptional organizers, planners and paper goods that help you build a life you love one day at a time, one plan at a time. I am a planner and I love tools that help me plan my days, my kids days in advance and I love the routine trackers. They help me track the things I like to achieve every day in the morning as part of my morning and my night routine as well. I also really, really love the grocery store um, tracker. It helps me figure out, okay, what do I need for groceries? And definitely just an everyday planner to help me organize my thoughts, help me organize my gym schedule, and basically put my life together because, you know, I need help. <laughs> but yes, um, as part of my, you know, reset routine, I like to write into my journal. I like to plan ahead using these tools from Simplified and basically just get my life life together in a way that I can see what's coming up, I can plan, I can anticipate and also basically just figure out how I am going to go through the next couple of days. I also did get this cute little cover which helps because I like to take things with me like pieces of papers in the grocery store like my notepads and I just don't want it to get wet so that actually will come in handy. So here for example this is the grocery store tracker slash list. It has different sections and you can write exactly what you need and put it on your fridge. So I have spinach, that I need for my vegetables too. I like almond milk in my coffee. Um, the kids love noodles. And I also need some mushrooms for my omelet. And um, yeah, some cheese. I just went grocery shopping, so I don't need to put much, but that's basically what I have right now. Oh, of course I need paper towel. And yeah, and then you can just leave it on your fridge and when you're ready to go, just fill out the page you need and take it with you to the grocery store and that's it. You can go and you can have this with you. So yeah, I really, really love these tools. It helps me simplify my life and organize and plan. That's it for me in this video. Thank you so much Simplified for partnering with me in this video and supporting the community. I will put a link in the description box below so you can check them out and get yourself some good organizational tools that will help you simplify and romanticize your life one day at a time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. If you are, I truly appreciate it. And be sure to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is it's in it a. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.